45 minutes to see if we can hack a game and we're gonna see if we can do this. Uh, my name's John Riggs. Uh, how are you feeling? Thank you. What? You've never heard of me. No, 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 no. Come on. You can keep going if you'd like. I don't mind. Um, and I'm just gonna show you how to edit graphics, edit uh, colors, and edit text. This is a crash course because, again, we only have 45 minutes, so in the interest of time, we're just gonna rush through this really quickly. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm taking suggestions along the way, too, on uh, what we're gonna hack. Um, all of these, all of these um, individual uh, elements are also on the Gamester81.com website. So if you go to Gamester81.com, uh, you'll see all the videos on how to do this too. But um, let me show you a couple of ideas of why you would want to. You can take a game like this, Donkey Kong. You've heard of it before, whatever. It's quite literally Donkey Kong. All right. Uh, and you can do something like this. Make it so it's the Freddy versus Jason edition of Donkey Kong. No, this is great. What do you mean, no? <laughs> something like that, tossing machetes down there, you know? Uh, another great example would be something like this. And this is at my uh, booth, if you stop by my table, you've probably seen this. This is the original, it's called uh, Cosmo Police, um, Galavan. Came out in Japan for the Famicom. But you can take a game like that and turn it into something like this. Wait for it. Pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna take a game, Super Mario Brothers. Oh, and the other thing I wanna point out too is, I knew nothing about hex editing before doing this, so if you don't know anything about hex editing, perfect, neither did I. And um, all the programs I'm using are free. So you're not paying any money to do this. You can hack all the ROMs you want and still play the ROMs just fine. Putting them onto a card is another, another panel for another day. But I'll show you how to um, edit some, uh, show you how to do that. So I use a program called TLP, which stands for Tile Layer Pro absolutely free. All the links, again, are at Gamester81.com. And all you got to do is open the ROM, and I'll show you what that looks like. Na -na. This is also my work computer, so if you see like weird folders and emails pop up, don't, don't pay any attention to those. I have one already kind of pre-built, pre pre-set up. Talk about preparation here. All right, never mind that it says SRGE, because I did the same thing for the Seattle Retro Gaming Expo. When you open it up, this looks like nothing bunch of garbled mess. Uh, don't worry about that, that's the code. But if you scroll down far enough, you'll see what looks like graphics, or bits of graphics. They're called pixel blocks. And pixel blocks are in eight by eight squares, like you see here. But you, saw, you see some fireballs, and here's the top half and bottom half of a flag. Here's the top half and bottom half of a Goomba. But there's only one Goomba, even though it walks, it's animated. Uh, it's because it uses the same animation, and then it flips the frame to give it the walking animation. So you get one, that's all you get. The colors look a little wrong, and over here in the palette editor, you can change the colors. The colors aren't going to change the in-game colors. It's just for your own. Um, it's just for your own self. So you look at Mario. Well, this is going to grow up to be a big Mario. You can drag and drop these over to the tile arranger just so you can see what they look like. I want to do this here if I can. It's much easier with the mouse, but I didn't grab one of those. Mm -hmm. Starting to take shape a little bit. This is a, easily one of his walking animations or running animations. And this is just for your own benefit. This is just to help you see exactly what this graphic is. Um, it's not as easy as changing one thing on Mario, and it changes for all of them, because Mario has several frames of animation. So if you change one thing, you've got to change every frame of animation. And he still looks a little weird, so we're going to change that. Again, not going to change the thing, but I know Mario hats, Mario's hat is red. So we'll choose red. Skin is not blue, uh, yellow is, it's like an orange. I'll give him orange just because. Again, it's only for your own personal benefit. Um, that's gonna be brown. Eh, that's not bad. But if you change it over to the palette, go to the tile arranger, yeah, it looks a little bit better. So if you change anything on here, the tile editor is what changes the game's graphics. So if you remove that and save it, then that frame of animation will have that part missing in his hat. And so we're going to change him into you. You're going to be Mario, if you don't mind. Yeah. OK. <laughs> awesome. So we'll remove his hat. But you'll be, you'll be an instance of Mario anyway. Um, you can change this word for, I mean, pixel by pixel and all that. But it's easiest just to, you can just use borrowed sprites. So I'll open that up. Um, 
Like for instance, I want to grab, say, the ghost from Pac-Man to be a Goomba. So here's Pac-Man. Same thing, scroll down far enough. Some games are laid out better, some of them aren't. You just kind of have to look around to see what there is. So you see, here's him looking, and I'm going to find the Goomba. So that's the top half, that's the other top half. The bottom half will be the bottom half of his uh, monster ghost element. So now, now a Goomba is a ghost from Pac-Man. You can save it along the way, I'd recommend it. And I'd recommend saving as different elements, so I'll save this one as, as it should have been in the first place. P, R, G, E, I'll keep it lowercase p because I'm too lazy. I'm gonna call that good. Now, we gotta find someone to change his Mario. I'm trying to think of what game you might look like or what game you might recognize as. Maybe, hmm. R-E-T. What's that? R-E-T. R-E-T, yeah. <laughs> I can't open it up in an Atari game. I wish I could. Sam. Oops. So Mario? Yeah, we'll make you, we'll make you Mario-ish. <laughs> oh, because nobody just has a file full of ROMs on their computer or anything in it. Um, I think it's in the, you know what, I saved it in the uh, folder starting with F. And then there's ROMs folder. Not that I have every game here. Well, who do you look like? Maybe someone from uh, Star Tropics? <laughs> what do you mean, old boy? Okay. Well, I, I appreciate that. How are we doing for time? Oh, we're about 10 minutes into it already. So that, well, it's still kind of hard to see what that is, but if you, again, stay with Star Tropics, you pull that over. There's that, that. Oh, this is when Mikey turns into looking like a girl. And that one, yeah, let's not do that. We'll find another instance. Um, let's change something else. So instead of throwing fireballs, what do you want to throw? Cats. Cats, love it. <laughs> So we'll grab a, uh, and the fireballs are only one frame, so we could do, this so one might be like a cat's head, I guess. Sure. <laughs> Fortunately, it's like Nintendo graphics, so you just have to use your best, your best judgment on what a cat's head would kind of look like, I guess. Uh, well, you know. Not, not known for my uh, detailed skill here on what to do. That's a cat. Of course it's a cat. There we go. There's your cat's head. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drag and drop this over here too, and then I'll flip that around so it gives it a little tumbling animation at least when you're throwing your cat's head at the imposing uh, ghosts or whatnot. Uh, let's go back to Mario here just for a second. Now this is, again, not very Mario-like. I'll remove his hat, I'll give him hair, whatever. Yeah. It's, again, it's not gonna be anything close to perfect, but again, in the interest of time, and you're gonna have much more time and you can do whatever you want with these here. All right, so then maybe this, which you can kind of see over here. Oh, he has a mustache, we can get rid of that too. Hmm. All right. That looks ridiculous. All right, we'll, we'll call that good. So maybe you like that. Why you would, I don't know. Um, you can also copy and paste. So you're like, okay, I like that part. So I'm gonna highlight that, Control-C, Control-V, and now you have another element. So I'm gonna move that over here, because he has like six frames of animation. You can divide it down to two frames of animation if you want. So he's just hovering? Yeah. You could. Of course you could. All right, let's do that. It's your game. I don't care. <laughs> do whatever you want. That's the best part about it. All right, so we're going to be... Hmm, he's going to be... Is there standing or... You know, just hit him with the legs being kicked out. That's going to be all right. So that's all that. That's the... He's eight pixels tall. So copy that. This is going to be really silly. I love it. It's going to be amazing, of course. 
you have to drag it. When you drag it off to the element, like there, it'll still stay there and you can still drag it around, but as soon as you click anywhere else, oh, as soon as you click anywhere else, then it locks into place. Like that. Um, this is ridiculous. Into dogs? You know, we can. No, we can the Mike, like the candy? Yeah. Well, first we got to find the Koopas. Now, again, and we, you can scroll around through this up and down thing just for other, this is just for your own benefit. Again, it's not going to change the end game graphics, but it does kind of give you sometimes a better view on, like the growth mushroom. Anybody give me a suggestion on what makes them grow? Pickle. Pickle? Love it. Well, perfect. I'm trying to think if there's a game that has a pickle in it that I can just borrow the graphics from, like a bubble bottle. No, a bubble bottle wouldn't have pickles. They have cake and stuff. <laughs> Good call. Now let's see if the Burger Time pickle. It might be a little bit too tall, but we can uh, we can work with it. Is that the pickle there? <laughs> That looks highly suggestive. All right. You know what? We're going to roll with it. Um, and you don't have to use up the full... If you want to delete the part so it's only half of it, that's totally fine. And it's going to take on whatever colors it was. And again, I'll show you how to change the colors too. Now, whatever color it may be, actually, it might be kind of funny anyway. Uh, I'm removing the part, so because the, uh, the, the super shroom is like two pixels um, wide and two pixels tall, or two pixel blocks wide and tall, you can just use the one. It'll be fine. But the hit detection will still stay on the one, even though there's no image there. So growth is that. How are we doing for time? All right. The bricks should have smiley faces? Is that what you said? Yeah, that's him. Oh, no, that's fine. I don't... Well, I, no, I 100% I agree. The bricks should have smiley faces. <laughs> It's, it's the same cat, yeah. <laughs> I have one thing that I can do. That's all I got. Um, any other suggestions while I'm doing this? Anybody, anybody? Oh, what was it again? Mm. Trying to think of how that would work. You know, and that's just as easy as moving these bricks into the coin elements. So that's when you hit the block and then the coins pop up, but I know there's another coin element like down here. Like, let those be coins? I don't see, why not? Oh, and here's the other part of the bricks that are, we'll just make that the same on all of them. And then when you, and that's the brick <laughs> shattering effect. We'll do that there. And um, so the bricks look like coins. And the bricks look like bricks. Smiling. And it's like smiling bricks, of course. Okay. Well, and I don't see why not. I mean, we're already teenage. Hmm, I'm trying to think if there's a element in the nation of moles. You could probably like make it look like their face or their head or something like that. Uh, the Koopa should look like Ninja Turtles? Oh, that's true. We could always just put them, give them bandanas. Well, if you give it a bandana, that's as easy as just adding where the eyes are. Oh, that's not a Koopa. That's a Hammer Brother. Where's the Koopa? Same thing. Well, uh, here's the Koopa right here. I don't know. Something like that. Um, we can turn this, and then sometimes we'll run into this element too. This is mostly for older Famicom games, but Toad, I was going to transfer over here. Uh, what kind of Toad is going on there? Toad 
It could just be Slippy Toad, absolutely. Yeah. Like Toad is only half of this because it's the same thing mirrored. So whatever you do on this side, if you give to Toad one horn, it'll ha he'll ha have two horns. Or, all right. Evil Toad. He's a horny toad. Ha! That's the comedy right there. Well, that's not going to happen. This game is censored. I'm going to ruin his middle finger. There we go. Now he's not flipping anyone off. In fact, he doesn't even have any arms. What do you think of that? <laughs> Chopped them both off for you. All right, 616. Well, in the meantime, let's save that. And let's check it out for a moment. Oh, of course we're going to play it. Now, I didn't change small Mario, and I didn't change some other elements yet. But you'll see. Let's see what we got so far. My computer's running a little slow. See, there's the... And now the eyes, and I was going to mention that too. Um, the eyes is a transparency. You see there's three colors there. Hold on, I'll stop that for a second. Um, when you change the graphics, there's, you see three colors here. These three are the only colors. This fourth one is a transparency graphic. So even though it looks black, for instance, it's not black. It, you can see through it. So for the um, ghosts, you'd probably want to color in the eyes, which I'll do like such. So now when you play it again, save as that. All right, I want to see what happens when you grow using a pickle. Now the bricks didn't change, um, so there must be a different image for the bricks. It's a red pickle. <laughs> And I don't judge because it's not my game. All right. Um, and then the one-up the one up shroom is also the same as the super shroom, so that's going to actually be a green pickle. Um, we didn't change the fire flower, but that's not going to stop you from throwing cat heads. <laughs> if you want. So there's that, and I think that's awesome. Um, 618. Let me, uh, let's go over how to change uh, colors. So we have that. And I need to go back into it because now we're going to change the colors. The colors is changed through, um, I use the same emulator, FCEUX, which also has hex editing capabilities. And again, I don't know anything about hex editing. And here's why it doesn't matter if you know hex editing. I'll show you how you can change the colors. And this will change the, color, uh, this will change the colors in game. So you, find, um, so you find Mario. Perfect. You open the debugger and you open up the PPU viewer, which stands for I have no idea. But you're looking at, here's all the in-game graphics and what element they come in from. Like, so where it says tile, you'll see the tile for this graphic is 0, 0, that's 0, 1, that's 0, 3, whatever the case is. And then down here, it shows different color palettes. And each one of these four is something different. So here's green, green, black. Well, that's probably the pipes, but it's also going to be the hills in the background. So if I change that to something else, which we totally will, uh, it'll... No, and we certainly can. Um, and then usually this one down here is player one, usually. So um, we, can do, we can do a shade of purple here. So let's, let's start with, uh, there's not enough purple in this game, is there? Um, so that's going to be 291AOF. So we're going to open up the hex editor. This is your hex editor. This is, this is the active in-game. You see this thing tripping out here. This is the active in-game game working as we speak. But when you go to view ROM, this is the literal physical game. So if you change anything on here, it's going to change in the game. And this is where you don't need to know hex editing. Um, also, at, um, if you Google Nest Color Palette, or I, again, I have the picture posted at gamester81.com, uh, every Nintendo game you've ever played uses these colors. Um, this is every color you've ever seen in any Nintendo game. And the color code it represents, which is also one of those, like, did you know, um, Mega Man is blue because there's more shades of blue than any other color. But never mind that, we want purple. So we're using some chartreuse. No, let's do, um, let's do lavender. So we're going to go 2, 3, and oh, 3. But we're going to go through, um, first we've got to find out where, where it is in the hex editor. So we go 2, 9, 1, A, 0, F. And 0, F is as dark as you're going to get. And I'm because I double check everything. 2, 9, 1, 291A0F. So in the hex editor, we search for that string of 291A0F. And I bet you the first thing we find is going to be right here. And I bet you that's going to be the color of 
the green elements in this game. So 2-9 represents, let's see here, 2-9 is going to be the lighter shade of green. So we're going to change that to 23. We can do that. So 2-9 is now, click on that, 2-3. And now 1-A, which is the darker shade, we're going to change that to 0-3. And you'll also notice it's going to be, starts out light, goes dark, 0-3, 2-3, 1-3, you know, whatever the case is. So we're gonna go that, two nine, zero three. Sometimes, before even saving it, it's already changed. Um, the green is still there if I reset it. I... Now you get some purple elements in there. Or if you wanna change, you know, Mario Brothers, the other one, his, he doesn't wear brown overalls, he wears blue overalls. So you can go in and find his brown overalls and turn them blue. Um, or we can just play with his color palette in the first place. So we're going to go, Mario is 16, 27, 18. Hold on now. 16, 27, 18. Here he is. 16, 27. This is probably it. Sometimes you have to play around with it a little bit. Other games that are more intricate, it might be a different color on each level. Um, but this game's simple enough. It's probably just this one here. So 16, 27. That's racist, kind of, sir. What are you talking about, yellow Mario? Um, his skin tone is 27. No, we're totally going to do that, though. Um, uh, how about 30? Well, and this, it's not going to look the same on, like, a television, for instance, like a CRT. So if we do this shade of maybe 39 instead of uh, the one, um, then that might be all right. <coughs> It'll just look silly anyway. That's all we're shooting for. So 27 is going to be 29. Uh-oh, I lost it. There we go, 27, change that to 29. Uh, 18, which was his uh, brown overalls. We can change his hair color and something else to, give me a color, anyone? Pink, Pink. yep, it's 15, too late. <laughs> ah. And then, um, he doesn't need to do red. He's, red's overrated. Orange. Orange? Love it. <laughs> He'll blend in camouflage. Make it super hard. Uh, 16. Well, we could go 06. Or 16 or 06. Oh, it already is 16. Yeah, see, like, so, like, this color of, this is 16, and on here, on this monitor, this shows us about 16. So if we go over, we'll do, um, we'll, we can go 17. Can you change a color to transparency? You can. <laughs> you, yeah, if you wanted to. No, it didn't save, did it? Mm. So it must have, ah, you lost it. And I also lost the, because I didn't save it, I was just doing it in screen or in game. Um, I lost the colors too, which is fine. Oh, it's, it's easy to get back. So 29, 1A, O, F. Oops. Ram, ROM, 21, 1A, O, F. Oh, it's just the, it's the, the, the demo. Have you noticed that the demo sucks too? Like he's not even like the good. It's like, no, exactly. You have no idea. Uh, Twenty-three and 03. <laughs> Twenty-three, zero, three. You could. <laughs> and then we were going to go 16, which is going to be right here. 16, 27, 18. 16, 27, 18. Now, because it didn't change last time, I'm curious if it's in another spot, which it is. It's in a few different spots. So I'm going to shoot for hopefully this first one. I'm going to start just typing in random, like, 1A... 
27, uh, 04. There we go. Yeah, that's actually not bad. It's kind of a cool uh, Joker. Oh, we get it. Ah, oh, it's fine, whatever. All right, so if you like that and it looks good, then you can go ahead and save it. Save. So save ROM. The ROM is saved. Now, let's change the text. Now, before I do that, there's a couple ways you can change text. And text is when it gets kind of weird and you might glitch out some things. Sometimes, like I'm going to pull up Little Nemo the Dream Master. Because we go to the hex editor and go to view, go to ROM. Um, I don't always find it immediately. But sometimes when you're lucky, the text is all right there. Like, hey, little boy, what are you doing? And it's like, this is the entire text for the whole game. By the way, my name's Flip. By the way, my name's John. And you save it, and he's going to say that now for the rest of its game or whatever the case is. Sometimes you're this lucky. This works for Ninja Gaiden. This works for Wrath of the Black Manta. There's a few other games out there. Super Mario Brothers, unfortunately, isn't that easy. It's easy where there are specific programs because it's a, it's a hackable enough game that they make specific programs that you can do that with. Uh, but if that's not the case in the game that you're working on or you want to translate or you want to hack, um, here's how to do that, and it uses another program. Don't laugh at my desktop. I have no idea what's on here. It's, again, my work, com my work computer. We have... Hmm, table later is another free program. And we're going to find the table that it makes the text in Super Mario Brothers in the game we just made. So I'm going to open up table later. We're going to go back to the Super Mario Brothers game we were just working on. Uh, there are Super Mario Brother um, level editors. I mean, they just came out like, you know, like Super Mario Maker. It's like we've had Super Mario Maker for years. I don't know what you're talking about. We've had this. Um, but you can go through and actually add it. I mean, you can put Bowser as the very first thing you see in the game if you want. Um, and you can do that through specific programs, but I wish we had more time to show you those too. But we're going to show to you the, so here's the hex editor. It's not going to be the same, but we're going to go to the <coughs> PP view viewer. Not there. Because we need to find out what makes up the table. So if you look at, oh great, we changed the colors. Oh, it looks that alright. So we need to find out what makes up the table for the text in this game. And this is how you do this. Here's the ta table later. Again, absolutely 100% free program. Uh, start with the numbers. Numbers 1 through, or 0 through 9. It starts, same thing with down here, tile. 0, 1, 0, 2. Okay, well, it starts with 0, 0. So 0, 0, automate numbers. Perfect. Alphabet. Well, it's only an uppercase in this one. Sometimes there's upper and lowercase. This game only has uppercase, which starts at 0, 8, which is right <coughs> afterwards. So automate, alphabet, the uppercase. This is lowercase. That's all we need. Now we're going to save the file. We'll call it um, SMB TBL, which I already did. Uh, Legend of Zelda is another one where you need to use this to find the text. SMB TBL, save that. It already exists. That's fine. It's going to be the same table anyway. And now we go to the hex editor. Mm, right here. And then, I'm sure you can see what's going to happen here. Here's the ROM. It doesn't have the text in here. I wish it did. File, open table, open your TBL file. Not Balloon Fight. How about Super Mario Brothers? Now this is going to change. It's still the same game. And then when you scroll down enough, you'll eventually find, you know, but our princess is in another castle. Um, your quest is over. Press, press B to continue, etc., etc. And then so we can also search too. So you can search. It's gonna be um, it's uppercase sensitive or it's case sensitive. So if I search for Mario, I can find what's your name? Joseph. Joseph. So if search for text. Unfortunately, Mario isn't. Duck. All right. And then um, I can't. Some games you can easily push space. This one you can't. But if you find what comes up with this, like between game and over. The hex code is 24 counts as space. So where it says zero, if I put a 24, then it'll act as a space. And I can find every other instance of Mario 
and change it to duck 24. There's another Mario. Duck. Two, four. <laughs> what? Oops, not that. Um, I wish this was a game that you could just easily hit the space bar. Sometimes you can. Here's thank you, thank you, thank you. Princess. Hmm. This may not all fit. Chicken. 24. It's already there. Um, uh, let's see. Well, let's find out. S A N D. W I C H. All right. Chicken sandwich. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly what I was shooting for in this. Um, it may it may use the same text, just like sometimes it says thank you Mario or thank you Luigi. But you're right. It may on this element. I'm not sure. We'll save it all the same. But yeah, you're uh, good looking out. It does say thank you Luigi. Let's see if there's another element of princess. Not there. Search up. Not there. Yeah, so that's that's the only instance where it just swaps out Mario for Luigi in that element. So now it says duck. So now your name is duck. That one you'll have to use a different, there is a tile editor for the title screen. Yeah. But it also makes sense to, you know, change that to red or... <laughs> yeah. No, I was looking for the, the bricks. It was, so we have about 15 minutes left. So in the meantime... Yeah, I'm going to... I think you changed the texture for the uh, underground levels. You know, I bet I did. Yeah. And that's why, yeah, so sometimes when you're... It just takes a lot. It takes a lot of a lot of this is all trial and error. Just keep going, and you mess up, and you go back and find something different, or find something new, or um, find my. There it is. PRGE fifteen. All righty. So we need these smiling faces. So we'll change it to that. Probably that one too. And it may have been the, um, like here's this brick, sure. This brick, sure. And if anyone has any suggestions, shoot them out just for any random element of, we should change this to this. <laughs> you sure could. Well, yeah. <laughs> you are the ship from Galaga. <laughs> he must become one with the ship from Galaga. <laughs> that's right. Uh, it's in, that's right. I always forget where I put my stuff in this computer. <coughs> Rom, is that? Here we go. Yeah, if you wanted to. It'd be confusing, but you sure could. So here's Galaga. Mmm, boy, this doesn't show me a whole lot, but I bet if I put that there and this here. Change that over, back to default. And then that looks like, where's the other half of it? Oh, this might be it. You know, it may be mirrored. That's totally not it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> 
It is a modified ship. Uh, we could. So that that's that. Then this on this side, I bet if I just flip that image, because it's going to be the same, and this one here. And I guess things are going to be some of the some of the, just because I was just doing us all this over. Some of these <coughs> will not. The graphics will be completely glitched up anyway. Um, there's that. Bullet bills. We have. Um, let's see. We have. What's another thing that we see often enough? We do see the piranha plants, and we're trying to find them. Like here's the, like here's a piranha plant. I bet if I do that, and that, and then this one. They kind of do look like taco shells. Um, I think it's like, so piranha plants are also mirrored. Uh, what should we change them to? Which one? Joystick. Mm, well, the joystick. Well, uh, give me something else because it, it's because it's mirrored. I don't know if it'd be able to um, translate. You can do Pac-Man. It'd be a much longer Pac-Man, but we can do Pac-Man. So. What? <laughs> Actually, Pac-Man's kind of a good idea. I'm just gonna gonna kind of look like Pac-Man anyway once I flip it around to. to its rightful um, native. Um, like that. And the other one is closed mouth, which is probably just like that anyway. And it'll be on, um, They'll be on a ghost head for no reason. Well, now I gotta find a piranha plant so I can see what these look like. Save. How are we doing for? Okay. Well, we gotta. I wish. I wish we had more time because we could. You, you can do so. Much. I mean, you can see how easy it is and how how to do that. Again, Gamester81.com is our thing. Um, if, if that's another one that's also no, it's not mirrored. That might be doable. Yeah, I see what you do. Because like here's like the top pipe, like here's the top of the pipe, and then here's the second half of the top of the pipe, and then it goes down, depending on how long the uh, thing is. That's uh, that's that's something that may be doable. <laughs> yeah, it only makes sense. Oh, where's the copyright symbol? Do you see it on screen or? Oh, it's a little bit below. Oh, you're right. Hmm. 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 Yeah, kind of. Sweet. That's also going to be the. Um, uh, no, that's fine. All right, we can call that good. Save that. All right, <sighs> our masterpiece. Let's have a look. Yes, let's do it. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. You should make it to the next level so you can see the Yeah, I do want to see the piranha plant. There's your cat heads. <laughs> ah, come on, you. I didn't do anything with the Koopas. All right, let's just get to the end here. Oh, watch me fail. 
Um, you know, I thought I did too. I have a double check. We could have changed the flag. We could have changed. You can change the fireworks. You can change. Oh, that's that's right. Sorry, duck. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you can make a moonwalking if you want. You could, you could just. Um, what is going on there? All right, whatever. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to. I might be able to get that far. Oh, and the coins are also. So oh, so one of one of the frames. One of the frames of animation still. <laughs> yeah. I want to see if I can get to the, uh, see if I can get to Toad, who's now not flipping you off because I chopped the arms off. Oh, oh there's Pac-Man. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, yeah. Oh, on the, uh, that's right. Yep, there's Pac-Man. It's green Pac-Man, and you can change the colors, too. Well, I got three minutes. Can I actually? I can't speed run. No, I'm no, I'm no, I'm no Paul Tessie. I can't speed run. I didn't say that. <laughs> and I'm playing on a keyboard too. That's why I'm not a PC gamer because I got a con controller in my hand. So playing on a keyboard is even worse. This is a yeah. Well, that's that goes without saying. That would be awesome. And Bowser is such a, I didn't do Bowser only because it is such a weird formation, but the one I saved, um, I did one earlier that was an alien. So I just, I left the alien. Oh, and with your, ah. Oh. What are, the, the fireballs you throw, the fireballs you throw are also gonna be the fire chains. So it's gonna be a chain of cat heads. <laughs> Which of course was the intended plan all along. <laughs> So you'll see Bowser as uh, some alien thing I made last time I made one of these. There we go. All right. See what happens. Yep. Thank you, Duck. Chicken sandwich is in another castle. All right. That's all the time we have, unfortunately. So, but have fun. I'd love to see your creations. Um, again, um, I'm on Twitter and Instagram. I'm on YouTube and all these videos broken down by video, how to change color, how to change the text, how to change it. It's all on YouTube. It's all at Gamester81.com. And I didn't have time today. I did this for the Seattle show, but I'm, because I can also do that, I'm gonna take this ROM and turn them into playable cartridges. So I'm gonna have a few of these at my booth tomorrow and they're gonna be free. If you're like, hey, I was at the booth tomorrow and I heard that you had some. So I'm gonna make a few of them. I only have like four. So if you see me tomorrow and say like, do you have any more of those left? I might have a couple of them. So I'm gonna turn them into a playable cartridge um, and I'll do that later. I can't do sound yet. Um, only, uh, there's a way to do it, I don't know how to do it. That's all we have, but we need, uh, there's like a band coming up so I gotta clear out of here. Um, that, well, just like, I mean, like changing the color is changing the code and changing the text is changing the code. You could. I mean, you, t you totally could, because the coins are two uh, frames and Goombas are two frames, so you absolutely could. Well, that's just how the